Hey there everyone, today we're going to talk about converting these fluorescent lights to LED. You may have a lot of these shop lights in your garage or maybe your basement or your shed and um, you're at the point now where they're blowing out, the fluorescents are flickering and you're thinking about converting to LED. I'm going to show you how to do it, but before I show you how to do it, we're going to talk about whether you should do it. So. These, the one I just showed you is a 48 inch fixture and um, the replacement bulbs that are LED cost me about $22 for the pair. Now I'm going to link to where you can buy a pair of those if you'd like and also the larger size. But I'm also going to link to in the description where you could find just a whole replacement fixture with the LED bulbs included and it's only going to be a couple dollars more and then you can decide whether you think it's worth it to try to deal with the uh, wiring and changing it to make it LED compatible or whether you just want to change the fixture. But for those of you who just want to change the bulbs and make it LED compatible, we're going to uh, go walk you through that right now. Here we have the fixture and um, the first thing I'm going to do is remove the bulbs. Okay, you just twist and they pop out. Half a turn and they pop out. Here are the replacements, by the way. Again, I'll uh, link to where you can get them on uh, online. And we're just gonna we need to remove the cover so we can get to the to the ballast inside. And to convert these things, we have to take the ballast out of the equation. So first, we've got a screw on this side to remove and then we're going to do the same on the other side. And we're going to take off this center piece and now we've exposed the wiring and this is the ballast. Okay so what this thing does is it regulates the power for a fluorescent bulb and you cannot operate this with LED, it will ruin your bulb. And uh, what I want to point to is you've got this the standard wiring and power coming in. So here's the it's a very short plug by the way. So I'm just glad this is mounted right by an outlet, otherwise you would have to extend it. And you've got your your black which is your your hot and your white which is your neutral going over to the one side of the ballast, okay? And then you've got these other colors here that are going to the left side and the right side, which we're gonna cut these off as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my wire strippers, I've got cutters on there. I'm gonna cut these down here too, okay? And these over here, just up here for now, okay? So the way these things work with the uh, fluorescent is the power would come in one side and then it would go through the tubes to the other side and would make a, a circle, okay? Now the way the LED fixtures work is the, both the, the load, which is the, uh, the hot, and the black, and the white, the, the black and the white, which includes the neutral, go in and it goes down the center. Once, you know, the hot goes down the one side of the bulb and then returns and comes back on the other, back out here. Now, when you do these kinds of conversions, what they want to make sure of is that this lamp holder, because I've got a spare one here, this lamp holder is not shunted. And so I'll explain what shunted means. Shunted is a, uh, it's a way to connect this, the left side from the right side. So if you notice, you've got, let me use the screwdriver to point to it. You've got the wires that would come in here and this wire that would come up here. But in a shunted situation, there's also a piece of metal that connects the left side from the right side, right? And so if you were to have a, a lamp holder that is shunted, 
your, your hot and your neutral are going to immediately cross and you could blow out your bulb. So you want to ha have is a lamp holder that's not shunted, meaning if you were to put uh, a meter on the two of them, they're not connected. You would not get a, uh, a signal saying that you've got continuity, All right? which is what we're going to do on these here. I'm going to take my uh, Klein Tools uh, clamp meter. I'm going to put it on the setting for we, where we can check for polarity. And this one's got, you don't have to look at the display because this one's got a, a sound alarm that will tell me whether or not it is shunted or not shunted. Okay, so I'm hearing no beeps, right? Which is telling me that it is not shunted, which is what we want. So this one came with the bulbs and we can check this one is also not shunted. Now what would happen if you had continuity? All right, well we can just getting it right through the uh, fixture itself, right? So this tells us that, okay, we are, we're good to go here. We're gonna still use these same wires and we're just gonna make sure that we know which is left and which is right. We're gonna keep them consistent. We're going to put the hot wire on one side and the uh, white wire on the other. We're going to do the same thing on both. Okay, let's disconnect these. We'll shorten up these wires. And where was the other one? Up here. I'm going to shorten up these wires here too. We're going to strip them. And I'm not sure that I mentioned it before, but of course everyone goes without saying, but I got to mention it again. Make sure that we're not plugged in. There's no power whatsoever when, even when you start opening or even removing the bulbs. Okay. So, all right. So here we got the there we go. There's the positive. And now we've got the and the power, the load. And then for the other ones, we're doing the oh it didn't come off. We got the neutral over here. Okay, there we go. You know, before I go any farther, I want to just get this ballast out of here and uh, think we may have to use a, uh, a wrench. All right. Out of there. So we've got this side done. And over here, all we need to do is just cut these wires. They're not going to do anything. And on the other side of the LED bulbs, uh, those prongs are not going to be powered. They're just to hold themselves in place. What I like to do is just provide a little safety by covering up with electrical tape. It also prevents it from accidentally slipping out is really what we're talking about. Okay. All right. Now we're going to put the cover back and the screws. Just one screw on each side. Of course, this thing's a hundred years old, so it's a flathead.
we're set there. Now we're going to take the bulbs out of the package. All right. And they have a little plastic piece that covers them on the end. And now before you install these, you have to understand that there's a particular side. Now you see up here, hopefully you can read it on the camera, it says AC input. So where the writing is, that's where the power comes in. So we have to flip these over. They go in on this side. Okay, same thing here, right? It goes on the other side. And you're gonna install them the same way you would the uh, LEDs. I mean the same way you would have the, uh, the uh, uh, fluorescence. You just put it in there and just flip it, right? Both sides, straight down, and then turn. Okay, in fact, I don't want this to be seen there, so let's turn it that way so we're not looking at the the label so that's labels underneath okay now we're gonna plug it in and uh, hopefully it'll work we don't the thing doesn't blow up <laughs> which um, it happens right as a, as a very common thing to happen if it's something's not wired properly which hopefully I wired it properly we will see in just a moment Look at that, a thing of beauty. And you know what, they're brighter. Uh, this is gonna look much better. This was in a storage room in the basement. And um, I'm gonna be, after this, we're done filming here, I'm gonna take it downstairs and hang it back up on the ceiling using these chains. All right, there they are in the background. It, you know, the. The camera thing, doing it on, you know, narrating, it, it takes a little bit longer, but the truth is, is 10 minutes, maybe 15, if you're not comfortable, is about all it should take for you to do this. It's very simple. Just follow the instructions, especially the, uh, the situation with the shunted lamp holder. As long as you follow that, uh, you'll be okay. Uh, it's, it's an easy DIY homeowner thing to do especially if you want to convert to LED, but don't just convert to LED from fluorescent thinking that you're just going to save money on a power because you're not, you're going to save a little bit, but you're not going to save as much as you think and spending the money on uh, the more expensive LED bulbs, it's going to take you years before you make that back. So it's just when your LED bulbs are done and they go out, then at that point, maybe convert to LED or just buy the fixture that I'm referencing down below in the comments. Thanks everyone and uh, stay with me for more home DIY videos. Have a great day.